Hello there. Good morning. I'm Chef Tom. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here with me. This morning we're going to make some quinoa for breakfast. This is pretty straightforward, pretty basic. The really great thing about quinoa for breakfast is it takes about five minutes or so to get it on the stove. Then you walk away for 20 minutes, take your shower, do whatever you need to do, make your lunch, and uh, it's pretty hands-off for that period of time. So we're going to start with uh, some water in the, in the uh, pan and a small saucepan. The basic ratio of grains is one part grain to one and a half parts water. So I'm going to use a half a cup of grain and three quarters cup of water. And um, let's get this all here going. Need a little more than that. Not by much though, that's just about perfect. All right, three quarters cup of water. Put that in there. And trusty measuring cup. Half cup of grain. And one thing about quinoa is it's got uh, a coating on the grains to protect them. It's called saponin. And it can be a little bit difficult to digest. It's not a huge deal if you don't rinse it, but I like to do it. So, I'm going to run this over to the rinser. What I'm doing is uh, just got the grain in a bowl here, rubbing it through my fingers to get the sap in and off of it. Try to just rush, run water through it, that's not going to do the job. It needs friction. So you got to get your hands in there. The um, two best kitchen utensils you've got are right there on the end of your arms. Use them as often as you can. And get my trusty little strainer out here. So I'm just going to pour the grain through this strainer. Voila, the water's gone, grain's rinsed, and ready to go on the stove. So we'll get our water going, throw our grain in there. If you're not familiar with quinoa, it's a high protein grain grown in South America primarily. Well, it's grown all over the place now, but that's where it started. Now, you could just cook the quinoa right like that. One part grain, one and a half parts water, and that's basic unflavored quinoa. What we're gonna do is add a teaspoon of curry powder. I'm gonna give this a savory profile. A lot of people have breakfast, they might add you know, something sweet. Apples, cinnamon, sugar, sugar. A lot of people eat sugar for breakfast, not so great. And uh, so we're gonna go after a more savory profi profile. I'm putting in a teaspoon of quinoa, or <laughs> curry powder, into the quinoa. Where's my curry powder, there it is. And we'll stir that in there. But wait, there's more. Here we go. We're going to add some vegetables. Greens and vegetables combine really well. from a digestion perspective. And so what I got here, piece of zucchini, and grab me a cutting board. 
going to use my vegetable grater. This is not a cheese grater, it's a vegetable grater. <laughs> it's a lot easier to clean when you just grate vegetables on it. And just grate up a little pile of zucchini. I've got about a third to a half a cup here. It's a pretty forgiving thing. If you put twice as much, it'll still handle it okay. And if you don't have any at all, that's fine, or just a very little, whatever you got, you work with. I'm going to let the water come a little bit more to a boil before I add that. In the meantime, I'm going to wash up my vegetable grater. So I'm cleaning as I go here. The bowl and strainer that I use and the vegetable grater is all cleaned up. Put this zucchini back in the fridge. get to a boil here. What I like to do is just kind of lay the zucchini in around the edges. We want our cook pot to come right up to a strong boil because we're going to simmer it for 20 minutes and in order to maintain a good simmer it's got to come out to a strong boil to start with. And then for a final piece of magic, once it's all cooked, we're going to add some green onion. Again, we're going after that savory profile. So we got curry powder, we got zucchini, we're going to add some green onion. We're going to have a few other little sparkly extras to make it yummy and nutritious. Go. Coming up to a boil, just a little bit stronger. And really want to see bubbles all throughout the pan, not just on the edges. And the other thing is, you can usually feel in the handle of the pan, you can feel the vibration of the boiling. So that's another indicator. It's kind of like taking a pulse. So we get our lid on there. Now I'm going to move it over to the back burner, put it on a nice low setting, almost as low as you can go. You'll have to calibrate that with your stove, find out the setting that works best. But we set the timer for 20 minutes and I'll be back. Welcome back. We've got just a couple of seconds left on the old timeroo. There it is. Shut that off. We'll turn the heat off. You can either leave the quinoa right on the stove on the burner or slide it off the heat. One thing I like to do is use that heat to warm up the bowl I'm going to eat out of. I like hot food. But today I'm also going to show you how to make this as a grab and go breakfast. So I'm going to put some away in a little container to take with on the road. Got the aforementioned green onions here. Chop these up. <coughs> Get the white part. Mince that a little bit better. Get a little second chop. And the green part, not so important to chop more than once. little pile of green onion and here comes our quinoa so you can see that that's how that looks yummy nice pretty yellow color and I'm gonna throw half of this in this uh, by the way that half cup of grain makes two servings two breakfast sized servings and so I'm going to throw some there and hit it with a little bit of salt this is Himalayan pink salt and uh, not only makes it taste yummy but um, you need salt in spite of what you hear 
salt shaker is not your problem. It's the sodium in the food. And so anyway, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt in there to help our neurons fire good. We need some good fats with some flax oil. Squirt some of that on there. What else? Other little goodies to make this quinoa sparkle. Uh, this here. Tomashio is sesame seed ground up. This particular variety has a little bit of um, uh, seaweed in it. And you can find that at natural grocers or Whole Foods. And finally, I'm going to use half of these onions. Because as I said, there's two servings of grain in the pot there. And there we go. That's pretty much a simple grab-and-go breakfast. Um, you got some fat, you got some grains, you got some nuts, you got some vegetables, the zucchini and the green onion. If you really wanted to go after it, you could add some uh, leafy green vegetables, either some kale that you might have cooked off otherwise, or another neat trick is to take some of that baby spinach and chop that up, and then right at the end of cooking, just throw it and stir it in there and let the heat from the grain steam the spinach at the end. The baby spinach is really tender. Um, so those are some extra things you can do. Thanks for joining me here today. I'll see you again next time. Remember, cook for yourself. You're worth it. You deserve it. It's the most important thing you can do for self-care. Have a great day.